Hello everybody, my name is Ash. Welcome to Spiral Reignited Trilogy. Uh, the other day I did, I did do, do a bit of a stream of the first game uh, on PS1. Uh, I've run it from a PS3. Uh, but it felt kind of weird. Kind of uh, had a bit of a weird slowdown to it. So I figured, you know what, we'll play the remake instead. Just for the fun of it. See how it compares. Hopefully you guys enjoy what you see. Hopefully. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! <laughs> Like I've got some things to do. <laughs> so dumb, but so good. So good. But look how beautiful this game looks, honestly, like it looks amazing. Okay, let's have a look. Let's do some settings. Okay, sound. Reignited. Or oh, the original. Ah, let's put the original on for now. Let's we'll switch it up between the two. Ah, uh, you know what? No, let's do reignited. Ah, no, fuck it. <laughs> I'm, I'm dumb. Camera, uh, active. That's how I liked it back in the day. It's mouse sensor. Use the controller. There we are. Put the original music on. I like it. Nesta! Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. Pretty useless. Okay, let's change the sound again. Yeah, we definitely need, the voices need to be a bit higher. There we are. Good. Good. Because, like, something, a nice little detail that this game has is, um,. The fact uh, that the art, like each, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, what the heck? It's a kids game. I can't swear. Oh right, yeah, double analog. That's where the camera control is. So yeah, like the uh, dragons of each homeworld are like based on what they are. So this is the artisan's world. So therefore, we've got like more. Uh, they're gonna be like. Artists, I guess. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons. Hey Cross, how you doing? You may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Yeah, I did like one wave a wave and a half of a solo and I decided nah can't be asked. So I figured to play something nice and chilled. From my childhood! doesn't still say that does it I've got it says I've got might be the notifications because I've literally streamed Andromeda for like five minutes if that <clears throat> oh no no 
Nah, I booked push notifications. Nah, nah, it's probably, I don't know. Because, like, the notifications are, are kind of delayed anyway. Because of the, uh, the whole fact that... God, what's going on here? Ah! Because, like, they, they, they get pushed, like, minutes off into a stream, I guess. Maybe it's protection against streams that don't quite get off, take off. <clears throat> Like I'll be, I'll, sometimes I'll watch a stream like as it go when it, immediately when it goes live, then get the notification like minutes into it. Oh god, I suck at this. <clears throat> I always have trouble with this jump. <clears throat> I'm trouble breathing. Oh god, this is annoying me. <clears throat> and so's my throat. Why is it so why is it so hoarse? Good lord! There we are. Skill point required. Why is that a skill point? Reach tricky platform. Wow, they even they even know it's tricky. Unbelievable. They don't give a fuck, do they? They don't give a frig. Damn it. It's a kid's game. I can't swear. Also, some of these gems are more hidden because of the grass. I actually have grass in this game. Argus. Uh, well, my stream certainly isn't, but the game is. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. The usual YouTube question. I mean, could be. Should be. But, like I said, this is this is a game from my oh, this is a remake of a game from my childhood. I should ask. I should say. Key difference. Key difference. Like I have a tattoo of, of this character on my arm. That's how that's how sad and it gets. What are you laughing at, huh? Can I see up a skirt? This is for kids. It's for kids. Oh, I can see up a skirt. Ugh. God. God damn it, Ash! Why are you so deprived? Oh, he's got a mohawk. That's interesting. Very good. I know, she got quite a... I could almost see her breakfast. Honest to God, I could almost see her breakfast. That doesn't really tell us what he does. But hey, cats are doing over here. What the fuck? Where the frick? Is he hiding? Oh, he's behind here. Yeah, all the uh, extra detail in this remake is very impressive. Real, I really like it. Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. <coughs> 
Oh, dragons found! Look at that. We pro yet? I don't know. Could be. Ooh. Hey, get back here. Stop right there, criminal scum. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is so... <coughs> Good lord. My throat was fine up until, until I hit, hit the stream button. Now we're in this situation. The hell? Hey, there we go. Get up there. Yay, we got all the gems. All right, well, let's do uh, <coughs> da -da 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 Dark Hollow first. A level I do enjoy, if I say so myself. As I can move around and smoke whilst the uh, or flame whilst I'm doing the loading screen. Very cool, very dynamic, these loading screens. Interesting though, we got like this. Ah, ah so much your armor did for you, did it? There we are. All these enemies do look a bit bigger though. We'll say that. Oh wow, that's a big ass turkey leg. Alban! Sure, if you'd escape those annoying little creatures, Dad they wouldn't bother me. But here's a hint their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yeah, like Arts and World, I see he's uh, a poet, which is an art form, I guess. I guess. No, it really is. Don't worry about it. No disrespect to the poets. Oh, cool, look at that. I do kind of like the uh, simplicity, uh, simple look of, uh, of the original. Can't charge these guys, they're too fat. Do much for us, but I'll take it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. In case you saw, uh, look at my dragonfly, he's blue, dabba dee dabba do, he lives in a blue world and a blue house and all that malarkey, uh, so he pretty much represents to hit my uh, health 
in this game, you know, starts at gold for full, take a hit, go blue, take another hit, go green, take another hit, he disappears, and then take another hit, and I spiral dies. Replenish the health with these fodders, like these cute little frogs here. Dead. You get into full. Relive my fire. My love is your only desire. I don't know. I can't remember if that's actually the words. Yeah, I got achievements now. As well as skill points. Yeah, let's get this chest up here before we forget. I did pick up the key for it. Which is nicely put in our hood for, for the rest of our lives until we use it. I mean, all these chests look the same. I don't know why we can't just take these keys, take this one key and use it on different levels. Nah, that'd be too easy. Oh no, you don't. Got these books. I like the fact that the, uh, I mean, it's a very, like, Dark Hollow, like, was very, like, a basic nighttime level, but they turned it into somewhat of, like, an outdoor library in the remake. Which I really like. I do have a blind uh, playthrough of this on my YouTube channel. Oh, the blind playthrough of, my, of this remake on my YouTube channel, so if you ever want to see my, like, initial first impressions of this remake, uh, go over there and have a look. Big enemies like this north with the club cannot be charged, but a quick play, that should defeat them. Yeah, thanks for telling me after I've already killed them. <gasps> no! Where are my things? Got a gem missing. Was it in there? Did I miss something? Me dumb. Hidden. Hidden gems. Oh, nice and easy. Uh, I mean, we can go to the boss level now. Oh, yeah, something to know is uh, if you revisit levels uh, and kill enemies, instead of dropping gem, dropping gems, they actually drop these pearls, and it fills a, uh, it begins filling a circle around Spyro's head in the top corner there. And if you get a f complete necklace of pearls, uh, you get extra life. Anyway, Stone Hill. This is a good level. I like it. I like this. Look how fun this is. Oh, it's a goat. No, get away. All right, I'll save this uh, dragon to last because he's stood right next to the exit exit portal. It just feels right to, you know, get him at the exit. Oh, can't flame these; they're too reinforced. No good. I got the key. I got the secret. Okay, there we go. Where does this key belong? In the wishing well. Very nice. Gavin! 
Oh, nice coffee. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. Nice must. Oh my God, he kissed the bicep. Oh, lordy lord. You look at that. But it's a lot harder to see find gems in this game, honestly, compared to the original, because of because of the grass uh, being so tall and the gems being tucked away inside it. But luckily, we have got that little feature where you can click the stick and sparks will point towards like nearby gems. Very good. God. What's going on here? Linda? Linda. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I see a watchmaker. Hmm. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go to the next area. Who the hell did that? You guys hear that? He's up there somewhere, that noise. Going na 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 na. Oh wait, I don't, I don't bounce off of him if I charge into him. Look at these shepherds. It looks they look like bloody Gandalf. Look at them slippers. Oh yeah. You used to, in the original, you charged into them and you'd bounce off. Sparks be greedy. Oh, look at the size of that paintbrush. How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Don't know how much use that would be, but hey, let's do it. Uh, boop, there you go. See how this looks in the remake. Oh, yeah, visible walls. Oh, the things light up as well. Do they all light up? No, only ones, like, get each other. God, this game is so beautiful. I mean, I had it on PS. I I played it on PS4 first, and it, and it looked gorgeous there. But my God, what a not much of a graphics fiend, but I believe this is a skill point over here. Right, let's go get this thief. He's a pain in the backside. He must be stopped. He's got a dragon egg. The thief, and he uh, needs. He can't. He can't. He's, he's stealing a dragon egg. Like he's stealing our unborn. And he's made of bandages, apparently. <laughs> there you go, little Cap Capri's mini egg. Did I get an extra life from that? Interesting.
Yeah, look at them gems. Like, how are you supposed to see them? Kind of need this, uh... Need these, uh, this, this dragonfly to point them out to me. It's a bit of a crutch, I admit, but... Carry on. <gasps> Thank you for the raid. I need to get a new raid theme. <laughs> oh god, thanks for the raid, Yvette. Thank you. Do appreciate it. You know that Stardew Valley, I ended up watching about four hours of you playing it. Maybe I've, I've got some, maybe I might find the game interesting enough to play. I don't know. I might buy it. I might buy it. I'm not sure. I defo need a new raid theme. I need a song that I need to sing. Freed all the dragons pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. Senior. Let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Wow. Rude. Senior. Good and tag. Oh, I don't know what the. I don't even know what good night would be in German but how you doing well, how have you spent your day good <laughs> uh, abend oh look at that mincy look at how mincy is that look at that run ah! <laughs> look at him oh god Fecking twit. Oh, hey, 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 yeah, it worked. It worked. I got the notification. I got a little, I got some views. Thank you. I appreciate it. I was commenting on how I need the, uh, I need to change my raid notification because at the moment it's just, uh, it's just a scene from, a uh, what do you call it? It's from, it's a clip, it's a, it's a music from, a uh, Destiny 2. But I'm thinking of getting a raid notification where I'm, uh, I'm singing a song, but I don't know what song I could sing that would like make sense for a raid, you know what I mean? So I'm open to ideas, people. Welcome to Town Square. Open in time. Begin That's for the exploring by gliding to that area <laughs> with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. But that'd be good for like the start of the stream, wouldn't it? Like, sh like what about the raid? Like a raid, something for a raid. Like I said, not hundred percent sure. Look at this beef. Look at this beef. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, no idea. I didn't know. I didn't. I don't know what you've been doing all day. You look, your name looks kind of familiar, though. Hey, I don't know if you caught it yet, uh, Yvette, but uh, I, I ended up watching, like, four hours of you playing, like, that Stardew Valley. Like, I must find some form of interest in it, so who knows? Maybe I'll give it a go at some point. Who knows? My night stream? I don't know. I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing this, but it could be it could be a night stream. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Oh, look at that cake. Hmm. No, because like my, uh, at first I was initially going to be like, okay, I don't feel like streaming anymore today. And then it was like, I know, I'm going to stream some uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm going to do a sol some solos. And then that fell apart immediately because I was like, nah, I'm bored. I'm bored. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to play this game. I, I played the uh, original 
the other day. But like due to like I don't know there was a mix, a mix between like playing for two and a half hours. There was little to no viewers or chat, and the and the, for some reason the, the game had like severe slowdown on my PS3. So I ended up just buying this remake through the uh, Black Friday sale and see now how how it goes. And it's a solid remake. Definitely, definitely looks pretty. If you've never played a uh, Spyro before and have uh, a bit of money to throw around, I'd definitely recommend giving this a go. It's like a kid's game. I've got a tattoo of this character on my arm. So that's kind of like the influence or like the uh, impact it had on me as a kid. Oh, has he got a kebab? Oh! Oh, he's got mustard and... Anyway, he's got mustard coming out of his ketchup bottle. You see that? He's got mustard in his ketchup bottle. Oh, Jeff! <laughs> That's not flowering. Leap of the... Leaf off the wind. Get back here, you silly little thief! No! Where is he? Look at him, evil little bast- uh, evil little bugger. This is a kid's game, we can't swear. We cannot swear. That would be wrong, it's a kid's game. Anyway, there was some more gems. So basically, yeah, this is basically like a simple uh, collectathon, uh, kind of like Crash Bandicoot, I guess, but like a bit more open world and less linear. Not open world, but like I don't know how to describe it. Banjo Kazooie-ish. You know, you've got these levels you can run around, and explore, um, collect gems, rescue dragons. Deja vu. I don't know the words. That kind of deja vu. Initial deja vu. Yeah, skill point acquired. Spin that. Spin it to win it. There we are. Yeah. What? It's not random. It's it's my childhood. My child. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Pardon me. I look like shit, but look. Not just a kid's game. It's a way of life. That doesn't even look good on the stream. It doesn't even look good on the webcam. God damn it. <laughs> By the way, you can see this. You can legit see this girl's breakfast. It's fucking. It, it, it's bloody gross. This is a kids' game. I can see her breakfast. I can see her breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a collectathon sort of game. It's not as linear as like the Crash Bandicoot levels, so you can like explore, and have some fun. <laughs> her breakfast. Yeah, I can see right up in, into her into her breakfast cavities. <laughs> oh dear. No, you'd think that would be like, like all darkened up because it's a kid's game. No, you can see fong and bum bummels. Like, no. Leaves little to the imagination. Little kids are going to discover themselves to this, to this game. See her breath. What do you mean weird fake words? You not heard that term? You know, someone bends over, you can see their ass and you go, Oh, bloody hell, I can see, almost, I almost saw your breakfast. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Toasty! Also, he's purple. Like, he's a purple dragon. Like, yeah. Like, goddamn. I think he... 
think Spyro might be the reason why I like the colour purple. I don't know. Oh, God, that hurts. Oh, by the way, if you're a really big lover of dogs, you might want to look away. This is, this is going to be pretty bad. Because I set dogs on fire. No! I don't know it. It doesn't say much. Oh, this, this level, this is a boss level, by the way. But it's only hard because they have these BS doggos that can pancake you. <laughs> As I just demonstrated. I will say the load times on PC are a lot nicer. You don't need to kill them, I already got the gems. No! Might have to use the roll. This is the Dark Souls of Spyro games. What's he dancing for? No! What the hell? I'm just panic rolling here. Anyone who's new to Dark Souls? <gasps> Thanks for the lurk, Binks. You make sure you use them sneaks. All right, you've had, you've had a long day. I appreciate the uh, the start. I, I appreciate the good the good streams with the Stardew, and I appreciate you coming and playing with me on on my Mass Effect stream earlier. You have a good rest, and I'll hopefully catch your stream tomorrow morning, or whatever time it'll be for me. <laughs> And thanks, and again, thanks for the raid. <gasps> oh god, dogs. Dogs are scary. No! <laughs> why is, why, why is the dragonfly shaking his head? I'm the one who took damage. Oh god, I just sent him to his doom. I sent that poor shepherd to his doom. It's watery grave. This is terrible. I'm a, I'm going to hell. I'm a bad I'm a bad dragon. Nevin, brother of Kevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Many tricks up his sleeve. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, he laughs. Spam fire and hope for the best. Get out of here. Burnt toast. Ooh, a cutscene. We didn't get that in the original. How fancy. Oh, I missed gems. I'm a noob. A noob. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Hiding in the flowers. Let's replenish our health. That poor sheep, do you see what happened to it? Lost all of its cloves. Now, I did this when I was streaming the original. Uh, the original uh, the other day. Uh, there is another level uh, hidden away. It's a nice little secret. But I'm going to come back and do it when the game tells us it exists. Because... I feel like it. Did I get all the skill points in this? Oh, wait, did I get all the skill points? Did I get the skill points? Yes, I did. Peacekeepers. Okay. Wow, I see you've been.
been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Look at Spyro. He's, he's not even looking at the guy. He's looking at his crotch a few times, but he's like looking all over the place. It's so weird. Are you ready to go? Absolutely. Let's go to the Peacekeeper's. Enough of these artsy fartsy boys. No, we gotta go to the war world. The war world? Yeah. Full of soldiers, this world, apparently. Also, any anyone who's dropping in and is familiar with this game, I've got the original soundtrack uh, uh, enabled rather than the remake soundtrack because, uh, I don't know, reasons. I do like the art style of this game though. There's a soldier over there. We'll get him. Eventually. Titan! Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it! I should probably point out that each each world has a requirement for you to progress. This one is, uh, I think it's 1,200 gems or something like that. You don't know any of these games? Oh, PS1 era. PS1, I know you're young, but honestly, like, here's the thing. It's on, it's on sale on Steam. It's a very simple, fun game. I'd highly recommend playing this. If you're, if you're even mildly into platformers, I'd buy it. Honest to God, buy it. And by, by, by the way, this is a, this is a, it's a you get three games. By the way, it's a trilogy of remakes, a reignited trilogy. Dry Canyon. Your mama has a dry canyon. Oh no, they saw their, their friend die. Oh wow. Sticking their butt out at me. Oh wow, that, del that delayed. That delay the cheek of it. Yeah, you better run. You better run. Oh yeah, you said uh, the other day it was all PC streaming. Building dad's computers with your dad. Them, yeah, that's a bit free. down the rabbit hole. Well, how do you spend? What do you what do you do as a kid? Like, uh, I mean, obviously, not every kid played video games all the time, but you play like football, sports. I'm generally curious. <laughs> what the? Ah, fair enough. I should probably not move it whilst thinking it because they got these. Things, yeah, because like football is a usually the the they go outside and play like default for a lot of lads growing up. You know, a lot, especially in European countries and I guess South American countries. All right, this uh, box here, we can't break it, we can't unlock it, and we can't flame it, but we can blast it with a cannon. Unless we don't hit it. If we can, if we can blow up all three of these chests at once, that'd be interesting. Yeah, look at that, so satisfying. No, the purple juice.
So me, I'm. I never was. I, I, I kind of. I don't know if I feel bad about this, but I was never into sports growing up. Or even now, like I'm not big into sports. Like the most it will get, as far as it will go, is like professional wrestling, which isn't even a real sport. It's theatrics. Got these new chest types where you just flame and jump, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's it's okay, but like it, it it's like it's, I guess it's a point of interest. You know what I mean? Like when it comes to like it's a, I mean it's a talking point for a lot of people, isn't it? When it comes to like meeting new people or like especially with kids, like you know playing sports and talking sports, it's it's a nice default to go to, but. I mean, so, I mean, video games works as well, but definitely locks you into a certain age group. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Speaking of toasting enemies, get the hell back here. I, it helps. I mean, to, to be fair, I'm, I'm, I don't know about you. I'm the I'm the first firstborn uh, and the only son. So it's you know I have two younger sisters. So my uh, spot, my uh, taste for sports wasn't really never there. And honestly, never would would be. My dad used to be big on sports, but I guess he kind of mellowed out about it. Still plays like football games occasionally, but uh, when I say football games, he'll play like I don't know. I think I think the last one he played religiously was Pro Evolution Soccer for the PlayStation Two, and he was playing that recently, like he, he like up until about five years ago. So like you know, even with the Newer consoles out, he was still playing the PS2. Madness. Youngest, you have six brothers, hey, one sister. Fire Bloody hell. Were you, did your parents... You. <laughs> sure Jesus. Feet, your mum was milking your dad. Oh. Wow. Couldn't afford Xbox Live, so they had to make seven siblings, seven children. Oh no! No wait, you're eight children. Eight children. All to the same parents. Damn. Crafters world is far away and very dangerous. Maybe if you find twelve hundred stolen treasure, I'll show it to you. All right. Pezzo nine. I think yeah. I think that might be it. My dad was always into Pez. Never, never liked uh, FIFA. <gasps> Missing a gem. Oh damn! I mean that's. I mean that's. I mean that's. I mean I can't say that's not. Imp that's impressive. Like your parents have been around long enough to to sire eight children. Eight hey, would have been. Probably would have been. <laughs> been around. Maybe they couldn't afford condoms and had to make. <laughs> I don't know. But to sire like eight children, and like, and of course that'll be across like multiple decades. Like, cause you're you're 22, aren't you? So like, I'm a, I would I would assume something like your, your your eldest sibling would be at least in their thirties, mid thirties. Ice level. Bloody hell, that's impressive. You don't see that anymore. Like, my dad was one of six. But, like, the whole, uh, yeah, like, the big family thing, you don't really see that very often. And so, and sometimes it's a bit of a stigma. Some people shame it. But, you know, big families. 
Mad respect to your parents for putting up with eight of you. I bet they're finally. I bet they're glad to have peace and quiet now. If you, if I'm, I'm assuming you've moved out and li and living on university campus, maybe I don't know. But they're probably finally happy to have a bit of peace and quiet in the house with no kids about. But then again, you know what? By the time, by the time they get set, I mean it's probably already happened. But by the time they get settled, it's like, oh, finally, our last, our last child's moved out. We can be a happy, quiet couple. And then all of a sudden, first grandkid turns up, and then the second, and then the third. And then the fourth. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I had to put up with some weird comments. Yeah, I think people aren't exactly uh, polite to people who, mo uh, women that mother ungodly amount of children. <laughs> it's hard raising that many kids. Because, like, sometimes, uh, some, some kids don't, like, some kids, I mean, I'm talking from personal experience here. Like, our personal experience is in, like, me seeing, meeting people from big families. But there's always that one kid that didn't quite get enough attention, and because of it, they've become some sort of a socio-narcissist. And, you know, it's always, that's, I mean, that's always a risk, but that's, like, it's not from a lack of trying. It's just, you know, big family, not every single kid's going to get enough attention in the right places it's it's tough it's tough you're basically spin, spin in a house full of, full of plates that you need to keep spinning it's really hard work like I, I don't i'm not a parent myself but i can and i don't know shit about parenting oh no, i don't know anything about parenting i shouldn't swear it's a kids game but yeah big families and in the ice cave armor can make their feet very slippery hmm hmm Big and slippery. Oh god! Hey, look at this. They're not as cl they're not as close to the edge in the remake. That's very generous of the game. So the remake's easier. Lol. I don't know. These don't even have keys. I don't even know why they put locks on them. They don't have keys for them. Kind of confusing. Well, yeah, clearly. I mean, like, obviously, miss like, here's the thing. Like, I, I, I haven't lived with my parents in like seven years or something like that. But I like it. Uh, I'm sure they like it, and it is. They've still, my youngest sister still lives with them. But like, I find that. Going from seeing your parents every bloody day and hating them to seeing them like every couple, once every couple months and and appreciating every moment of it. I don't know. It's it, it's some it's, it's something about it. Ring. So, yeah, I don't know. I, it's it sounds corny, but like I, I I I appreciate them more now that I don't live with them. You know what I mean? Whereas when I lived with them, I was like, oh my parents, shut up, rules, blur. You know. So. But I also miss having my food cooked for me, so <laughs> there's also that. Why are these bats flying around me? I mean, that's the worst part. It's like, just, it's just like, I mean, I don't know. I will say, I like, there's pros to, and cons to living alone, but uh, I said I do, I do like living alone. It's one of them where I live, you live with like people for. 20 oh wait well, I was I was parents uh, I said let's just call it 20 23 years of living with other people maybe 24 24 years of living with other people but once you finally start living by yourself it's like ah oh, it's hard to go back thank you for releasing me thank you for useless flavor text but uh yeah I think the only, the only, the only, my only reasoning for living with anybody 
any if if I was going to live with somebody now, it'd be like if it was a girlfriend or family or starting to, or starting a family. Like I wouldn't, I couldn't go back to living with uh, friends or family. You know what I mean? It'd be uh, purely for a me, for me. You know, i.e., partner or, or what have you. Wait a minute. What's the skill point? Dr. Shemp. Okay, there is no skill points. It's just Dr. Shemp and... Perfect. Yeah, nothing perfect about that. Let's go. Who humped? Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. And now... Yeah, I can get that. I mean, as long as you're all getting along with each other, uh, that's the most important thing, you know. Two brothers and a, and a cousin. I don't hope. Uh, how many cousins do you have? I hope you. I hope your parents' siblings weren't as as bi busy with their spouses. The entire that entire like generation of uh, Zanaharias is is going to be like there's going to be like fifty of you. Boo! There we are. Only three. Ah, fair enough. Three cousins. I've got a handful of cousins, but I don't know all of them, and they live on the other side of the country, and I seldom travel outside my own hometown. Hence why I've got a very distinct accent, I guess. Maybe, I don't know if you want to call it distinct, an accent that that's kind of set in my own ways, which is why when people point out how I say things funny, funny, um, it confuses the hell out of me, because it's like, this is, this is all I know. I've, this is all I know. I've been speaking like this for all my life and no one's ever made fun of it. What's going on? I'm confused. Ragnar. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Um... Ready for what? All dragons found. <gasps> oh yeah, we got a uh, got the old Jimmy Jim. Oh no, fucking hell! Don't want to. Oh, I mean, bloody hell! Don't swear, Ash. So it's it's the first it's the first step into adulthood, honestly. Like, at least I'd say it is. Uh, just the, the just the full independence. Now, like, it's thing. When I was at uni, um, I lived away on campus, and obviously that's like you you kind of you're living in dorms, you live living in a house share, but you're kind of living by yourself. You're living away from family. You're somewhat independent, but you're still dependent because you got student loans and well everything else. But I found I kind of felt like uh, you know the student life. It was like it was a uh, adulthood with training wheels. But you know, once you once you live live start living by yourself, it, that's uh, okay. How do I get to that area full of lives over there? I think I have to fly from from the start of the level. All right, go back there. But yeah, it's, it'll be the most satisfying thing you've ever done. Well, probably not, but <laughs> it'll be it'll be so it'll be so gratifying just to get your own place. Okay, it's, I believe it's around this corner. 
YOLO SWAGGINS Okay, we are all done, right? All done. How far into university are you anyway? Because uh, in England it's typically a three-year deal. So I don't know how uh, how it is in Germany. Okay, let us go to Clifftown. I hope so. I hope you're done too. Just smash out that dissertation. I didn't do my dissertation, and uh, but uh, hopefully you smash out yours. Do an excellent job. Get get the grades you need, and hopefully you find a job in your field of study. Don't end up like me, where you uh, end up get <laughs> getting dissatisfied and work at, end up working in a clothing warehouse for six years. You know, do what. You know, follow your dreams, do what you need to do, you know? Speaking of which, what is it that you want to do? What is your, uh, what is your field of study? Yeah, but that's not beyond your control, is it? And that, and that does suck, that, because everyone, you know, if you had to do them, like, I assume you've got video call lectures. Which is obviously not as ideal, but then again, what are lectures? I, I don't know about you, but when I was doing university, the third year unit, it was pretty much the exact same as the first and second year, except the said less and said buy our books <laughs> you know they were like okay let's buy our books you can't you have to reference our books otherwise we will fail you it was so corrupt it was it was it was bs honestly it was the crap it was crap like it killed my entire motivation for that for the uh for for my field of study like it was pretty pretty depressing honestly because I was like proper into it for like five years and then I went to uni and after two and a half of that, years of that I was like ugh. The only place I found satisfaction in myself was uh, was at, at my work which was um, just it was basically a clothing warehouse but at least there I was I was told I was good at my job I was told you know well done I was motivated you know but uh, uni, not so much. And seminars, yeah. Software engineering. Well, there's. I mean, software engineering, that opens up a lot of doors to different industries, at least. At least I would assume it does, because a lot of. Uh, I mean, it's software engineering, you know, it's got, you know, warehouse logistics or whatever like it's it can be applied in different areas I mean, look, at, look at what I studied I did film and television production and pfft. how's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway remember Spyro flame won't work on metal but charge it with your horns that should do the trick that big ass hammer why you give me that hammer I want to pummel him to death Blunt weapons are good against armor. I've played Dark Souls and Elder Scrolls.
Yeah. Yeah, because, like, it was, just, it was just so corny, like, the fact that, like, I, I don't know what the uh, tuition fees are in Germany, but in England, you, it was like we had to, it's pretty much, it's pretty much nine 9,000 a year, on which we have to pay off gradually over time. And like you go to you go to a bloody you go to a university. The lecturer says, "Okay, these are the books I want you to reference. They all cost about sixty sixty pound each." Um. So, but in buying, obviously you're a student, so yeah, buying stuff. Hell with that. Going to the library that was always the best. You had two hundred uni- students in that in that course. Studying the same thing, doing the same exam, exam and and, uh, and you know paperwork, and how you get like what three books in between in the library between two hundred people, and one of, and half of the books were always booked out for three weeks at a time. Like it's crap, and then you got your lecturers telling you, "Hey, we will fail you if you do not reference this particular source." It's so crap. So it's either pay fifty pounds to buy to get two lines of references for your stupid paperwork, or I don't. It's just it's awful. It's so awful. I mean, I don't like paperwork in in my university. I, I mean, I don't like doing coursework at the best of times, but like Jesus, like it's a bit much. Oh, they don't lose their feathers when I kill them now. That's a shame. Oh, die. There we are. Heh <laughs> heh. That doesn't sound too bad, but... I'm guessing that's not for, uh, for upfront uh, cost, because like in England we, uh, it's kind of like paid off like with our tax. Like my, like I look at my paycheck every every week because I get paid weekly, and I think like two pounds of that goes to student loans. Like I'll never ever pay off that student loan. Like nine grand a year, I don't even make nine grand a year. Well, I do make nine grand a year, but like, you know. Two pound a day, two pound a week isn't going to cover it. Whirlwind that just appeared after you spawned. But I mean, I don't care. Not, no one's going to be coming knocking on my door saying, "Hey, why haven't you paid this off yet?" Like that's not happening. What's going on with this cloud? That's weird. But like the point is, it's like like I said, nine grand a year that no one's ever gonna ever gonna see. Like the university gets the money from the government, I have to pay the government back for all that money. As soon as I as soon as I'm enrolled, it's I, I, the university gets the money and they don't and they don't really care what happens after that. Like they really don't whether I flunk or or stay around, stick around or drop out. Like they don't care. I mean, it's regret- regrettable, but like I said it's the way it is. Okay, can I at least uh, rocket this? Nah, I could I could get it from from below on on the original. Ah, uh, well, let's go fly up here and then fly across. Oh, there's, there's gems over there. I nearly missed them. Not good. Pew! Lovely.
No! Oh, it's there. There we go. No interest, question mark. I mean, it's prob I mean, I assume there's no interest. I don't know if there's any interest on the uh, English student laws, but it would definitely, it wouldn't shock me if there was. I mean, I'd like to say I'm not paying it off, but I mean, who knows? Like maybe if when it, the, the economy goes, you know, ass, up, ass over tea, um, maybe they'll be, you know, everyone, the government will be like, all right, students, we need money. And we'll, everyone's be like, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. And everyone, is it, some, everyone, it goes from the country being in debt to people being in debt. Ah. Great Depression and whatnot. All right. It, no, interest makes sense. Interest is the right word. Where you you, uh, you pay it off, but you're paying a certain percentage extra because it, because you're paying it off rather than doing a one-off rather than doing a full payment. Said you got the right words. You got the right words. Said your your written English is is perfect. Never seen any issues of it before. And I'm sure you, your spoken English is fine as well. <sighs> Get this thief, 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 thief. You think someone covered in bandages like that would have a harder time running, right? But no, he's, he's pretty legit. Too legit to quit, in fact. But I had to retire him. Didn't know when to quit, so I had to put him down. Hey, look at these. All these, all these rabbits. Ow! Oh god, it said ow. Hey, watch this. Flame of cactus. Shake it off. Just like Taylor Swift. The players want to play, 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 play. And the haters want to hate, 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 hate. And the bakers want to bake, 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 bake. You shake it off. Shake it off. Ooh, ooh. Ah! Enough of that. Don't want none of that. Conan. Huh? Oh. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Thank you for the waste of time. Well, I know. At least they add more character to these characters to these uh, dragons. I do appreciate that in the remake. So even the even the lame ones that to only go thank you for releasing me is uh they've got more to it I guess. I was about to say you don't speak English every day, like otherwise you'd be on the mic chat more often. I don't know why you don't try it every so often. Audi's been on the mic chat sometimes. That's been interesting. He's be he sounds fine. At least I think he sounds fine. Speaks slow, but he 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 speaks clear and and in, in English. You know, just a bit of practice and confidence. But yeah, writing writing English. I, I guess writing English and speaking English are two different things. Like I could probably learn. To I don't know if I could learn to. I could, could I learn to write German? I don't know. I don't think I'd ever need to <laughs> speak German. That'd be interesting. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known. Uh, you've known. Ah. Uh, uh, well, everybody's shy.
I mean, do it in like, obviously, like, start off with groups in groups of one. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe the next duo you and your vet end up doing, you know, be on the mic chat, I guess, I don't know. So it's just the two of you rather than everyone. Like speaking one on one rather than a voice chat of four. Completely different. Also, she loves accents apparently, so I think you I think you'll be safe. How many, uh, how many Germans are there in the N7 uh, Discord? I would assume you'd, you'd at least mic chat with them sometimes. If at all. Uh... <gasps> no! What are you doing up here? Get down! Oh god, I'm out of health. Next hit will kill me. This is no good. Get out of here. Ooh, 25. Big pimping. Like a like a headset and a microphone separately. I mean, that's kind of what I that's what I do. Like I don't have my mic. I don't. Have, I mean, I have headsets with like microphones stuck to them, but I've never used the microphone on them. They're kind of just here in case I want to use it on my Xbox controller. If I'm playing on the Xbox or PS4, I can at least have a headset that I can just plug into it. But yeah, the, having a USB microphone and a, and some headphones. Very nice. It just helps to have them on two different devices, honestly. Yeah, I've, it's it's weird. Like I like headphones. Like they they gotta sound good, but they got also gotta feel good on your head. You know, it's hard to get a, headphones that do both and and you know are affordable. Because not everybody wants to spend, like, you know, a ridiculous amount of money on headphones. Mic and loudspeakers, yeah. Push to talk. Even push to talk, you get a bit of sound leakage. Nobody has that. Nobody wants that. It's the worst. Also, hearing hearing your own voice being played back at you is just... Ugh. It's a headache. It's a headache that nobody wants to put up with. Reminds me of the old Xbox Live days. Plugging a bad headset into the controller and you can just get echoes constantly. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't think he was convinced about me being born to glide. Or Spyro being born to glide. I don't fuck it. I am Spyro. I shouldn't swear. It's a kid, kid's game. I might have to look online for some headphones. Like, I like the headphones I'm wearing now. But I wouldn't mind, like, a USB head headset or something that's a bit more... Because, like, the way I've got my live streaming set up at the moment is, uh, it, it kind of makes my odd, like, my headphone audio, like, really quiet. Like, quieter than I would want. So, being able to hear stuff more cl loudly and clearer would be, would be great. Great, great. those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. 
Oh, dragons found. Very good. Oh, climb up here. Very good. Okay, is there a little... Okay, Dr. Shep, I keep checking if there's stuff like this. Yeah, because it depends how, much, how loud and... And, uh... Like, how much background noise there is, you know, because, like... Uh, I mean, I, I, hate, I don't want to, you know, I hate to, I hate to call them out or put, put, or put, uh, or like shame somebody, but, uh, you know, I won't mention their name, but like, there's a player I, pl I played with recently, excellent, excellent gamer, excellent player at Mass Effect 3, um, big fa fanatic of the, uh, Crusader, uh, I think I might have just given away who it is, but hell of a player, but their mic, uh, no. No, you can hear everything, like keyboard thumping, like background noise. You know, people talking in the background. People, it's like, it sounds like they're working, they're playing the game in a kitchen. Honestly, <laughs> eyes, eyes. Not, no, it's not meh. <laughs> that's your, is that that's your way of guessing? <laughs> but I guess, uh, yeah. But yeah, it, but yeah, so stuff like that. It's like, you know, if you if you you need to know, I f no, I think I know who you're talking. About. <laughs> I mean, I mentioned the Crusader. It has to be, it has to be one person, right? <laughs> no, um, but you know, also like, like something like that. You need to be like self-aware. Like you need to know, like, oh wow, that was really that loud noise behind me. I hope my mic didn't pick it up. And then sometimes people. I mean, some people might be too polite to to say, "Hey, I can hear, I can hear everything." Or you get people like me who gets upset and annoyed and yells at them for <laughs> for making so much noise and sneezing down the mic and all that stuff. But that's why push to talk exists. So, I mean, I don't have push to talk, and I've never had a complaint about my mic audio. But again, I live by myself, so. I've never been told that I'm too loud, or if I can, if people like, they can hear the game back, or if my keyboard is too loud. I mean, I think the only time my keyboard is loud is if I'm hammering the space bar when I'm doing the, uh, you know, the pizza run. Oh, by the way, this is a unique level. Oh, not a unique level, but it's a uh, different style of level. Oh no! I think I missed one. I don't know. No, don't touch the wall. Oh my god, what did I do? This is so bad. Clack, 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 clack. Exactly. But I think everyone has that issue if they've got a live mic rather than a push to talk. I don't think it's just a me problem, I think it's just an everyone problem. No! God damn it. Retry. Gotta get them all in one. I mean, I, w I wish my keyboard was so was quieter, honestly. Like, here's the thing that bugs me. Like, if I'm ever, like, testing it, like, trying to adjust audio levels, like, outside of streaming, I'm, like, hitting the mouse and keyboard and or picking up a control. Oh, my God. Ash. Ash. You know, let's just retry that. Um, I'll like play around with my keyboard, mouse, PlayStation, Xbox controller, and I can hear the clicking, and it bugs the hell out of me. But then it's like you got to learn the balance of like. But then you turn it down, and it's like now, now you, I have to have the mi mic right in my mouth. But then the mic is on on the webcam, and blocking my face. 
Like it's really weird. And if I if I had like infinite money, I would like use one of them like studio mics, the Sennheiser ones. You know the, one, the ones that TV presenters use, where it clips onto their shirt. Just you know that them kind of mics. I'd have them. I don't. Or something that would like only pick up my mouth. I don't know. <gasps> no, I touched the water. But I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to get perfect audio sometimes. And that's and that's without like making sure the mo the game or the voice chat is too loud. I mean, you don't have to worry about that because you you your videos is just usually someone else talking. But uh, let's say like my challenge videos uh, that I uploaded recently. Uh, I'm pretty much the quietest person in the server. Like everyone's louder than me, and that, and that kind of bugs me when I'm like when everyone's louder than the person streaming or recording. It's like uh, it's, that's wrong. That's wrong. It takes taking the focus away from the host. Like it's kind of eh, kind of icky. Okay, I think we should have this. There we go. Like I said, this whole audio setup that I've got, because I'm, I'm kind of like, I've kind of shifted my streaming setup. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, streaming setup around, and it's I, I'm kind of liking it at the moment, but I'm still it's still a work in progress with the voice, with the Discord chat and the uh, game chat. And I need to find like a way of getting the odd like the Discord chat onto its own separate like balancing thing because like at the moment let's have a look like at the moment yeah i've got my microphone here and i've got my system sound here and i've got it turned down to tw minus 24 which is what i'm hearing as well as you guys and obviously for me i'd rather have it turned up here for me and down here for you guys but like i said work in progress then but that that's not just the game sound that's every sound that plays on my computer so that includes discord so then it's like okay how do i balance make that quiet but then have like i don't know it's fucking weird maybe i should just leave it at that and then just turn all my system audio down through volume mixer i don't know it's it's weird really weird it's a work in progress <laughs> okay And also my mic audio and video audio is getting carried over from another from one computer to another to be streamed. Very, very silly, silly techie. Okay, we can get Dr. Shemp now. I don't think he's a real doctor, um, but I mean, you'll see why. And this is the boss level for... Uh, for uh, peacekeepers. Yeah, it's basically just a daisy chain of connections. What the hell are you doing? He's supposed to fall to his death. Aww. But the important thing is, like his thing, when I used to live stream, um, I used to have like two microphones, one plugged into the, into my, into my gaming computer, which is what you guys heard on Discord, and my streaming compu computer, which was what the, uh, you know, the boom mic, mic I've got here, the fluffy mic. But with this setup, I've got one mic that served, that, that's pretty much trapped connects to both computers so it's so good the only problem is is uh, trying to get it to work like if I want to start streaming like a console game now I'm gonna have to like um like sort of, like try and switch my mic audio from 
I've got to like, like rearrange my mic con connections just to stream like P from PS4 or Xbox. But in terms of like PC streaming, uh, I think I've got a perfect setup at the moment. These evil women. Oh! Nah, none of that. Not having any of that. Get away. Evil woman. I like these little footprints. They look like hands. I know it's his I know it's his paws, but like Okay, off we go. Oh god yeah. I thought we died. I thought that was it. I thought it was the end of the whole spiral there. Okay, we got this, we got this. It wasn't too bad, like, it, because, I mean, to be fair, I wasn't using a webcam, so, like, it was perfectly fine. Um, I mean, it was kind of awkward trying not to, trying to have the mic close enough to my face so my audio was clear, but not so it would block my vision of the screen. Trondo. Listening to him over and over, but I tell you one thing: he should watch his back. I think that's a hint. Oh, he's got his butt out. Look at that bum! Look at that bum! There we go. What's with the crying? There we go. Perfect. Skill point required. We're good at the game. Yay. Yeah, he's a boss. Not the final boss, but a boss. Yeah, you got a bit of ring sting, as we call it, over here. What's in the box? Is that it? Yeah, we did it! That is World 2 done. And dusted. Take me home. Oh, wow, it's an eclipse. That's cool. All right. Have a look. How are we doing? Uh, da, 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 32% total. One, point, one hour, 12 minutes total time. Sounds good to me. All right, we're done. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Can do, will do. Jump on his head. That's mean. But I love the Magic Crafters uh, home world and theme song. I, lo I like the soundtrack to this game. It's really nice. It's done by uh, Stuart Copeland, uh, the drummer from the band uh, The Police. Of uh, Message in a Bottle and Roxanne fame. And So Lonely. Don't Stand Too Close to Me. That's, oh, that's Stand So Close to Me. These weird druids. 
They, uh, I guess they look, they look kind of female in uh, in the original. Oh, I didn't get the train. I didn't get the train. No. What's the skill points? High caves, burnt, hidden painting. Okay. Don't know the band. Roxanne! You don't have to put on the red light! You days are numbered! You don't have to sell your body to the night! Roxanne! <laughs> or, uh. Send it out an SOS! Send it out an SOS! No, the druids. Oh no, every step I take. You know, every step I take. Every proof I make. Every song you sing. Every breath you take. I've been watching you. Yeah, that's, that's the police. Anyway, I can't believe I, I forgot their biggest hit there. Or arguably their bi biggest hit. So yeah, the drummer from that band did the soundtrack for this game, and this soundtrack is amazing! <gasps> no! They're armoured! I forgot about that. It's bloody normie looking... Ugh. Hey, get back here, you little bugger. Oh no, we killed the sheep by mistake. See what happens if I set the sheep on fire. <laughs> See, like he got back uh, back towards him, he starts laughing. Look at him, he's cowering. <laughs> he's wearing red underwear. At least these druids are wearing underpants. I can't say the same about the fairy. God, hiding all this, all these gems in the deep grass. Bad karma, man. Xantor. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a super charge. Look at him, Gambit. Charge. Excellent. Go ahead, try it. So yeah, magic crafters. So all the dragons in this world are kind of like magic themed. So like magicians and card fingers and whatnot. Get that. Get that. No, I wasn't meant to do that. I was. I wasn't meant to go in there. I was too. It's too early to go into Magic Craft Wizard's Peak. Exit level, there we are. Oh, wow. It's a good death animation, I guess. So yeah, they're just like empty sacks of magic. Oh no! Here we go. Boulder. 
portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. <laughs> He's old. We should laugh at him. Well, that hurt. I was just plain rude as well. See, the way we came in is over there, but the exit's over here. Kind of a linear little uh, place, this here, Magic Crafters world. Cheek of him, cheek of him. Hey, come here, I want, I want to pick up your uh, pearl. God damn it. Finessing us. There we are. Don't need to kill him. But it feels good to. No, I was supposed to k kill all of them in one in one go. I was supposed to run past. Lame. They're all like druid look druids and wizards. It's uh it's bizarre. They all look like ginger gnomes. Can't believe he get the roll. Good lord. Very good. Give us the good stuff. There we are. Please be the end. Yeah, it's the end. We've hundred percent the level. Let's go get go to Alpine Ridge. We're coming close to the point of like where I got in the PS1 uh, live stream. When I was live streaming the, orig uh, the original uh, the other day, but I've gotten to the, the but I, I think it's like I've gotten to this gotten to a uh, in, in less time. At least that's how it feels. Blooming hell. Ow! Stop it! You mean? Get out of here, you dumb druid. Oh! No, I'm just playing. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I think the, uh, the the world manipulation looked a bit better on the PS1. I mean, obviously the PS1 graphics aren't as good, but just the way the levels morphed because of the druids was—I don't know—it looked kind of interesting to me. Okay, is that a skill point for Alpine Ridge? No, there isn't. Very good. Zane. Gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. Oh, good. I didn't think so. I mean, I guess that's the idea of a remake. If it looks, <laughs> maybe if, if it looks better, then it's. I mean, you know. Yeah, you know, honestly, like, if you can get it dead cheap, play it. Like, play it. It's not a. Oh, bloody hell! Bump the mic with a head. Like it's obviously not a shooter or something you grind about, but it's, it's something nice. It's very relaxing and therapeutic. Oh, 
Oh no, his pants. He's got little blue shorts under there. He's got these ice wizards that wear uh, woolly hats, scarves, but shorts and, and, and loafers underneath. It's in a good sale. You get free games for the price of uh I don't I don't know how much I spent actually. It's in, it's on Steam, Black Friday sale. I mean I'm playing the first game here, but uh it gets hard, harder with each game for various reasons, but this one, the first one, the best. Ah, oh, 20 to 30. I think it was yeah, I think it was about 20 pound for me. I find a reasonable price. I put it on my wish list because I was wanting to play it again for a while. I mean, I've got it. On my, I've got it for PS4 next to me, but I wanted to buy the PC version because there's actually a mod where you can make a fat a spiral fat. In fact, I might see if it's actually I can get a Google image of it. A uh, fat spiral. Like somebody actually made a mod where he looks fat. <laughs> like, look at that. I mean, that, oh my god, that's just weird, weird uh, <laughs> fan art. <laughs> Big chungus. Oh my god, like, I mean, there's just mods everywhere. What the fuck is that? The fat ultimate spiral pack? What is that? Oh, I, I can't show that. Oh, Lord, look at that. Oh, no. I, I think I've opened a, a, a rabbit's hole there. Oh, God. What have I done? What have I done, Ash? Oh, no. No, 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 no. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. All right. Let me have a look. Let's go back to the game. That's so bad. But yeah, there's gonna be there's mod the mods. Come on, mods. I mean I'm not big I'm not a big fan of mods, honestly. Like I prefer playing my games without mods. Uh call me a purist. Here, here, here. No! Oh god, get but get over! No! I want to live! I want to live! I want to live! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh god no I like call me a purist or something but uh, I like to play I like to play games with like minimal mods because uh, I believe like I mean yeah mods enhance the game but I don't believe in games where you have to use mods in order to make the game good so that kind of kills it for me like people give me shit uh, give me crap, whatever. Ch a kid friendly version of shit. Because uh, it's a kid's game. People give me crap uh, for not playing Skyrim with mods. Because it's like, it's only good with mods. It's like, no, the game's good without mods. It's, it's not my fault you can't enjoy something without Frankenstein and something together. Thank you for releasing me. Wow. Let's check the goggles on him. Oh, there you are. Uh, hello? Hey, you okay? You, he swung for me. It was self defense. You all saw that. Yeah. Like, I always hate that excuse about games, like, but it's fun with mods, or but it's fun with friends, it's like, yeah, it, it, it is, but it needs to be fun by itself. Like, not taking away from mods, mod, mod people who use mods and, and mod creators, but like, 
it should be a it should be like a it's it should I don't know like I said enhance the experience not fix it you know or some I mean some mods do fix it fi a good fixes like I haven't replayed Andromeda since my first playthrough of it but you definitely need to replay it with some mods like just just basic ones like you know Kadara doors and the hot stuff. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafters world. The magic crafters world. Yeah, those doors. It didn't help that the game sent you to Kadara about fifty million times. Like no joke. Like how many times? How many side quests? I, I think every side quest sent you to Kadara at least once. It was ridiculous. Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. I know. Take care of them. I've already taken care of them. Let's not speak in future tense when it's already something that's in the past. Where is this thief? I think he just took off without us. Oh, there we are. No, I just look. <laughs> I just looked at the chat and and whiffed it. Damn it, senior! I blame you. No, I'm joking. This is why you don't text and drive at the same time, kids. Road accidents. I mean, it's the thing, like, with Andromeda, um, the gameplay is just really fun. Like, the whole, like, like I wouldn't mind replaying the game as, a, like, as like a, biot a pure biotic or a pure tech character. But the whole, the pacing of the entire game is so bad that it's like, ah. Oh. That's why I spent, that's why I got, like, hundreds and hundreds of hours on multiplayer and only one playthrough for uh, for 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 the campaign. It's because like the gameplay is fun. Campaign isn't. Simple as that. I'm sure I can't like experiment with like random powers on a multiplayer, but hey, gameplay is there. Okay, where are we up to? 98%. Oh, it's the these ones here. Yeah, I did uh, the set. I mean, I missed a few uh, data cars because uh, when you're doing the vault levels, it's only a they're like you, you can actually miss them. Pops at the pops of the tops. Ah. But the, uh, yeah, missable, which was annoying. Didn't I see something alive here? Or maybe it respawned, I don't know. Yeah, the main mission was just... Ugh. I mean, my, my biggest problem with Andromeda was the uh, the fact that Ryder was was a pussy. Like, he was such a, pu such a big wimp. Like the amount of people that could just look at him and just insult him to his face, and he would, and his only response would be cocky, sarcastic, passionate, or or uh, professional. And uh, oh no, cocky and sarcastic at the same. It was it was pa pa it was a uh, professional, logical, emotional, uh, and sarcastic. And every option would make you look like an idiot. Like you could not. There was no like. There was no renegade option. Or renegade equivalent, like you can't say sarcastic was 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 the was a good enough substitute because it wasn't. Like the amount of times he would like, like the amount, like they would all all of them in the in the nexus, they would just tell him how crap he was, how unfit and how good he was, how how no good he was at the job. And he would just be like, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. If it was Shepard, he would tell him to. He would punch him. If it was Shepard, he would punch him. 
Okay, is there a whirlwind that we can use to get back? No. It was bad. Like it was such a it was such a puss or pussy. Like you could like the, the amount of times I wanted to punch uh what's her face? The the woman. The co colonial affairs woman. Like the amount of times she would say just nasty shit to your face and you couldn't even respond to it. Like you, you, you made the characters constantly being made to look like a, a an idiot and and a wimp. Even when he was doing well, people were insulting him. It wasn't fair, and it was just frustrating. Like it was a the reason it was a, such a bad protagonist because it was like you you would do good things for good people. It felt like every option you made choice you made in that game uh, was wrong. It, it felt like it was like you 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 couldn't please any anybody with that in that game. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but hey, I didn't like it. <laughs> oh god. Hi, caves. How are you? Should be good, should be good. Oh wow, look at him, getting it up in the air. Shame I can't fly like that in normal levels. These bloody druids messing with each other. But yeah, Andromeda, still fun game, good, I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd argue it's a, it's a good multiplayer game, like, I'm not going to try and convince people it's as good as Mass Effect 3, but I think it's a, I think it's a fun multiplayer game, and if I can be ever bothered to write a challenge for it, I hope people would actually do it, or I, at least I hope it would be accepted onto the website, because there's a lot of Andromeda players in the N7S Discord. And uh, I think, like, even though we're primarily for Mass Effect 3, I think we should have something a bit more inclusive to the Andromeda players. Wow, well, that hurt. Hahaha. <laughs> How much uh, Andromeda did you play? Uh, the multiplayer, I mean, I guess, because you did 100 hours of a uh, campaign. Oh, nice! You got. So you must have a good good amount of unlocks then. Ah, the Apex app on your phone. Get those strike teams sorted on your lunch breaks. Ajax. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Yeah, you gotta keep doing that until you max your manifest, I guess. <laughs> Maxing rares, ooh. That's alright. I mean, to be fair, you can you can competently uh be you can be gold viable in that game with just uh with just commons, honestly. Maxed out commons. I mean I did videos on it. Showing it's possible. But uh 
so challenges i'm not 100 percent sure how it works like I, I feel i'm kind of like leaning towards like obviously platinum difficulty and then like the prerequisite would be like banning siphon weapons like no siphon weapons in platinum um and then see how the and then, because the, the paw is kind of up in the air, you know what I mean? Because obviously the paw is the uh, is the end all be all of weapons. It's just how much people are willing to do it. Because not everybody's not plat viable, but not I won't say plat viable, but plat confident. Um. I will say like I think platinum in in Mass Effect 3 is it's weird like gold is easier in Andromeda but I think plat is easier in 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 free uh, purely because like in free you can so if you have like two decent players in a platinum lobby um, you kind of uh, you can you kind of get get by but a platinum carry in a in uh, Andromeda, it's a bit, a bit more rough. Yeah, I mean, it's, I know people that only play with the paw. Like once you unlock the paw siphon, they don't use anything else. It's kind of, it's kind of sad actually. Yeah. Well, the big, the big reason for that is because is the fact that enemy spawns do not respect where the objective spawns. So, if you could easily have like a device spawn underneath two hydras and a, and whatnot, and that will just ruin your entire like objective. And, you, and the devices you have to do them in forty seconds or not at all, because you have to do them really, you have to do them really quickly. It's really rough. And that's not to mention the hacks, like the hack. Oh god, I should have jumped at the end of that. Cause you got the hacks and the uh, devices, not hacks, the hacks and uploads, where enemies can stop it from progressing. Which is, you know, presents issues onto itself. Supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. Also, net coding on uh, Andromeda is a bit rough. Uh, best way to describe it, uh, I mean, I guess it was more so during during the first few, when the game first came out, but it's it's kind of eased up now. But uh, sometimes uh, it's on, there's on horse lag. So like playing Andromeda on host kind of feels like playing free off host. It's kind of it's kind of bizarre. Yeah, the objectives really do mess you up. I guess it depends what you play as as well. If you're playing a human juggernaut, then uh, I mean, I think solos soloing is is pretty much a joke. But yeah, I had lag lag issues. I mean, teleporting fiends. Even with even with, if you're playing with people in the same country and you know relatively close by or whatever. You know, you'll be playing, and then all of a sudden, a fiend will teleport on your on your lo location. And you just be like, "Well, this, I don't want to live anyway." Juggernaut's OP, like it's so it's so ridiculous. Maybe I should maybe maybe that'll be a challenge. You know, beat a platinum without anyone going down. Oh, off host headshots, yeah. They they don't exist. I mean, they exist, but they they really don't. Uh, register very well which is a shame
So like sniping in that game is uh, kind of rough. I mean, credit, you can snipe without relying on tactical cloak. Like you can put a sniper in any class of that game and do pretty decently. But uh, yeah, without headshots, you're kind of uh, limiting yourself. Scary spiders. Hey, what's cooking? Good looking. Oh, it's me. I'm cooking. Good looking. Feel the power of the super flame. There we go. Arachnophobe. Yeah, there's a lot of quirks in that in Andromeda. Good, both good and bad. That I won't. I won't try and convince people which one's better, because it's clear that which one is. But I'm just trying to convince people to. I I I I I'm more convinced try and convince people to give Andromeda a second chance and to give it like a bit of due respect do because like. Honestly, yeah, I agree. It, when it first came out, it was terrible, but they patched it. They've released some characters. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a shame that they cut support because I would have lo would lo loved more characters and more maps. But hey, gaming industry is pretty pretty fickle, and so and so are players. If people don't like a game when it first comes out, it's kind of hard to get them back. And they should have released a half decent game. And especially, and then they did that whole like, you know, loot, you know, diluting the loot table, and I said, it's 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 hard. It's certain things that are hard to defend. Okay, there's a painting somewhere, but I can't remember where it is. Yeah, I think uh, I think Andromeda is a good game to play if you're burnt out on free and want to play something that's similar but different. It's like I'm kind of bored with uh, Mass Effect 3. I want to play another way of survival game that has loot boxes and unlocks. You know, Andromeda kind of fills that role. Uh, I guess you know the Killing Floor. That's a good game to, to fill that gap as well. Gears of War, maybe? I don't know. Oh, also, with Gears of War, uh, I don't think hard mode was good, has been good since 3. Much as I enjoy Gears of War hard on 4, a lot of it just turned into oh stuff over here. Huh. A lot of it just turned into uh, people doing their bounty, doing the bounties where it was like they get to wave twenty and then quit out, which doesn't do anybody any good. Okay, look at this, burn hidden painting. I don't know what kind of painting it is. Maybe it's one of them like, maybe it's like an actual painting rather than a picture on the wall. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 
Not play Gears of War. Oh, you're missing out. Oh, actually, yeah. Why would you? Why would you have played Gears of War? Uh, well, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's big meatheads with chainsaw, bayoneted rifles, beating the shit out of other reptilian meatheads that come from underground. Where's that painting? Also, it's a lot of, very bloody, very good, a lot of lot of violence and gore in it. It's pretty over the top, actually. Like curb stomping, pulling people, punching people to death, using a. Sniper rifles, a golf club, that can't. Just ridiculous stuff. Oh no, the sheep fell to its death. Could have sworn the painting was in there somewhere. Can't remember. Stopped. Oh yeah, Germany uh, ban tends to ban, the ban a lot of stuff, doesn't it? I mean, it's for it was for Xbox or whatever. But uh, was it Germany and Australia? Don't like violence in their video games or something, if I remember correctly. Ah, oh, fair enough. My innocent eyes. <laughs> oh. There's the paint up there. I think I have to flame it somehow, don't I? There we are. Oh, goodness. No! Not into big bloody games then. But what about when we're playing Mass Effect 3, surely? Explosive seeing all them nemesis nemesi blow up into little giblets. Getting those headshots and seeing their heads get just disappearing before your eyes. Surely. Your eyes have been corrupted. Ah, there's always has to be an exception to the rule, isn't there? Special special privileges for the sci-fi shooter, eh? I mean to be fair, like the look at Mass Effect as a series, like the it's not that graphic. I mean the the, the gore is very minimal. In fact it's kinda laughably minimal. So it kinda throws you off when you're playing Mass Effect 3 and start seeing people's heads explode and you know, turn, turning enemies into jelly. Kind of comes out of nowhere if you f think about it, doesn't it? I like how I'm too, I'm too fast for that. There we go. Don't land, that's bad for the times.
Yes! And made good time of that as well. We almost lost, but we turned it around. There we go. Go, 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 go. And go, go. Hey. Don't whack. I mean, it's good to find one game you're addicted to, and uh, or not addicted. I don't know if you want to call it addicted to, but at least it's like one game you focus your time on. Like a lot of people just jump from game to game, and, and they kind of I don't know. I guess it's it's good to focus on one game and be great at it than to be than to jump from game to game and be okayish at all of them. I don't know. I don't know how I'm looking at it. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. But, uh, you know what, if, if, if it was one game that you had to fall in love with, Mass Effect 3 isn't bad. Oh, by the way, this is Wizard's Peak. There is a Nickelodeon show, a bit of trivia for everybody. A uh, Nickelodeon show called The Amanda Show. Um... The credit theme for that show is the exact same song for this level because uh, Stuart Copeland, the composer, couldn't be bothered writing a fucking new one, so he recycled the same song. So weird. Ah! No, 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 no! Yeah. I think I go. I might go through like a yearly uh, phase. I mean, I'm, I say yearly. I've been I've been playing Mass Effect Three. Uh, I've been I don't know. What, I can't I can't remember what when I joined this Discord server. But I've been in. I've been playing this game on and off for years. And uh, oh god, stop eating so I can pick up gems. But uh, yeah, like. This is the longest period of time I've actually played it, played the game on and off non-stop. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird. And it's, you know, with a community of people, no less, rather than just pugging by myself. Because I'll usually, like, go for a phase where I'll pug for, like, a couple of months and then take another long break. What an ugly, ugly knock. I actually want to get this up on, on, my, on my screen because it's, it's just ridiculous. Let's have a look. Uh, Amanda Show Credits. Do you hear the music? Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Then it remixes slightly back into the Amanda Show theme song. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. I had to show that. <laughs> See, it's uncanny. <laughs> It's the same theme. They like this. It re gets remixed slightly to go with the uh, Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Shut like, but like, literally ridiculous. But hey, it's a good. It's a good theme. Wizard's Peak is a good theme. Why not? Why not reuse it?
Oh. Okay, I don't think I can get get over there from here. Well, maybe I can, maybe I need to go back to the start again and rethink my life. I don't know. Uh, I mean, to be fair, like. When I was playing it, I've spent like an ungodly amount of time playing this level. Yeah, the other day. Before getting sick of it and switching over to Mass Effect. But, uh. We need to find where we need to go. I think it's this way we need to go. No? No? Or is it? I don't know. Could be. Could be dumb. You know what? YOLO, let's fly around the corner. Oh, there it is. There you go, I remembered, I remembered. From yesterday, or whatever day it was. Jarvis! Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Oh, okay. Ooh, there we are. Very good. Okay, my point. Let's go back to the top and get these uh, supercharged going. Can we get up? Up here. There we go. I didn't get enough height. No. No. It's not good. <laughs> you get a lot. You got. You get a lot more height on the original. See, I don't know what I did differently there, but I got extra. I get. I got more height. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Can we get a knot like this? <laughs> Oh, big, big F. Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. Yeah, I legit don't know what I did did to get there. There we go. There's another one. <laughs> oh, no. I'm bad at this. Like I said, I don't know what I did differently to get to make it. You can have it all, my empire dirt. <laughs> Damn. I will make you hurt. See, I don't know what I did differently. Okay, don't fuck this up, Ash. Jesus Christ. He doesn't give a shit, does he? Egg hunts. Not done. We've got one egg left, haven't we? I like how if I pause the uh, 
song. It sounds like the music's being played into a in a different room. It's like, holy shit. My neighbor's watching the Amanda show. Oh wait, no, not holy S. I, yeah, kids game. Can't, shouldn't swear, won't swear. Christian Twitch channel. Wow. <laughs> See what we got. Oh yeah, We've got gems up here we should probably pick up. See, that was a harder jump, and I got more airtime from one supercharge rather than using two. So bizarre. Yeah, the sound design and the graphics in this game are just amazing. I thought so. I don't know. I don't know how. Why? That, I mean, look at that. That looks. That should be harder than the other one, by all accounts, right? They gotta go gotta jump further from a from a lower point. I don't know, it's a head scratcher. Nah, 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 nah. Oh my head it hurts. Oh god he's not wearing pants. And vaguely get up vaguely, yeah. Alright, no worries, uh, senor. Thanks for uh, stopping by. It's been a pleasure. I'll probably see you in a... Uh, I guess in the in the chat room tomorrow. <laughs> and I hope you have a good day and a good sleep. I think that's all I think that's all the eggs. I think we're done. Yeah, all eggs found. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for joining me and um, you know, it's been a good day. We've had a good day together. Honestly, thank you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for playing with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Ow! I got bonked. <gasps> yes! We've got all the gems. Carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home yeah. near the waterfall. Try jumping on the I was uh, scheduled to be in work like. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Like, I, I was scheduled to be in work like an hour after they started. So I would, I, that's why I cancelled overtime. I was like, fuck that. I'm not missing that. <laughs> uh, Alright, it's been a pleasure. Get some well earned rest. Ooh, there we go. All right, we got. Uh, good night, good night, sweet prince. Uh, oh god, what's going on? Uh, so, I guess uh, should play that. that dragon that we just got told us uh, there's a there's a secret world area at the artisan world, and I did allude to that earlier on in the stream. So we're gonna change world. I'm going to fly to the uh, Artisan's World now. We've got fast travel in this game. Amazing, huh? Look at that. We're almost halfway there. Living on a prayer. Change your underwear. But you mentioned something about these uh, steppy stones over at the uh, waterfall. Now, if you know about these, you can actually do them immediately, but if you get told about them, uh, I guess they light up. I guess 
I don't know if they light up in the original. I don't know if they light up uh, in a remake if you don't know about them. But uh, nice little secret. So you can come back here and do the flying level of this map. Yeah, it's, every world has a flying level. But you're not supposed to know about the first flying level until you beat that wizard's peak and, and get told about it. So it's a nice little secret. But if you already know about it, then you can play it immediately. I opted not to because I wanted to, I guess, play it in, or in order of uh, when you see stuff, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what order I'm supposed to be doing things in. I guess because it's, it's supposed to be the first one, it might be like, uh, any order you want. So we'll see how, how this flies. <laughs> flies. It's a flying level, so I used a pun and I wasn't even intentionally using it as a pun. There we go. Good time. 144. Felt quicker than the other ones, but oh well. Uh, reach, not quit. We've already done it. We don't need to do any more. We're good. There we go. 50%. Nice and round. Okay, magic crafters. We've got all the eggs, all the uh, gems. We just need to fight the boss and then we can get, get to beast makers. The uh, fourth world. Will I do it today? I don't know. I could probably cut the stream now. It's getting it's becoming 10 to 10. Maybe I should play some Andromeda with people. But I did say I was going to. There you go. This is, there you go. Coming through. That's what. That's the achievement I wanted to get earlier. Game weren't having it. Ow! Oh wait, what the hell? I had no health. How come I had no health? What was that for? Why did I have no health? That makes no sense. Who took all my health away? No good. Okay, I need to get to the su supercharge to get through there. Yeah, there we go. Ouch. Stock up on health. I don't know if we actually have any in this level. Blow hard. Uh, that's the porno parody of Die Hard, Blow Hard. Right, okay, let's go in.
go. Oh, by the way, that's our boss. That's the boss there. Some weird t bodiless entity. Just a beard and, and ha arms. Some weather god. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. Ow! Game, game. Really? <laughs> Good lord. Oh, damn it. Someone put. made that floor extra slippy. It's not my fault. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going with. I like how it's like a windmill themed level, I guess. It's all wind, wind fiend boss. Altair. In me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. All dragons found. I mean, that's hardly a, an accomplishment when there's only one in this level. I don't even know what this boss is supposed to do. I think he's, he summons like clouds that come after you and shock you. I'm not sure. I don't know. Gatherer. What is the skill point? Ride a Dewey platform for 10 seconds. Really? <laughs> I'm not skipping that. That's so... That's, what, a, what a dumb requirement for a skill point. Well, luckily they're harmless. I mean, I got 21 lives. It's fine. Ah, gallery unlocked. You get the concept art for the first game on PS1, or maybe, maybe that's a redone concept art. It looks cool though. Dream Weaver. Giant Pansy, Armored Horror, Demon Dogs. I didn't know they were called Armored Horrors and, and Giant Pansies. Huh. Huh, it's got like an Aku Aku mask on a stick. That's pretty funny. Jock and a mass Ugh. nasty knock. Nasty knock looks like a normal minion. We way, way to make the normal baddie, the the big baddie of the game, look like a put like a, like, a, like a nobody. I was actually trying to beat him to to here. 
Ah, well. All right, we're all good. We can go. Oh dear. There we go, extra life. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. I got all of them. I'm good at the game, allegedly. Hop aboard for the Beast Maker's world if you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Would you like to go? Go to Beast Maker's. I might have to. I might end the stream and play something else. Play with friends for a bit, you know. ESO Andromeda. I'm not decided. Ooh, look at this nice swamp theme. A chicken. Uh, I love it. I love it. Not wishing well. Okay, what do we have for skill points? Terrace Village. Oh, no electric floor damage. Metalhead perfect. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Whew. I like how I like how the only boss that doesn't have a perfect requirement is uh I guess Toasty I guess Toasty didn't, but uh Blowhard didn't. Which is, which I thought was I think it's pretty funny because I guess Blowhard isn't a threat. I don't know. Alright, peeps. I don't know how many people I was watching. It says free, but um I have my doubts. Everybody's pl there's a lot of people playing. A lot of people playing this game. Who do I raid? If I if anyone at all. Do I just be a dick about it and just end it? I can't even see my my stream on the among this lot. Oh, there it is. Free viewers. Yeah. What say you all? Anybody I'm following? Just chatting. Yeah. The chat. You know what? We'll go with a. Uh... Ah, fuck it. I can't be asked. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to decide. So I'll just say f, f it and and not raid. <laughs> be a be a douche. <laughs> be a douchey douche. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Follow if you haven't. And I'll see you all tomorrow, maybe. Enjoy. Alright guys, <clears throat> brace yourself. Closing time. Open all the doors and let you out into the world. Closing time. Turn all off the lights and no... Oh <laughs> Closing time. One last call for alcohol. So win <laughs> finish. <laughs> finish your whiskey or beer. <laughs> Closing time. You don't have to go home. But you certainly can't stay here. I know who I want.
to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. Take me home. All right. That's the stream. See you later.